Welcome back everyone, this is Kylie from the Curly Crafters. Today I am bringing a short and effective video that you can make for someone for Easter. I made this personalized peep sign for my grandma this holiday and let's get started. I picked up some peep wooden signs from Hobby Lobby. They retailed for about $2 each and then I took some inspiration off of Pinterest and I decided to do me and my two cousins or soon to be cousin. My aunt is pregnant with a little boy named Max and we are so excited that we wanted to showcase this this Easter and I made this wonderful craft for the love of my new cousin Max. Well, we used the paint colors Yellow Flame, Princess Pink, and Key West. These paint colors were fairly light on top of the Buffalo Check Bunnies, although it still worked out. That's when I decided to pull out my trusty dusty heat gun and use that old friend to dry the paint much faster. It did shave off some time and it allowed me to do several coats and a fraction of the time. Luckily when I painted the pink peep it was a lot easier because I didn't have to do much coats because the buffalo check was already pink and I didn't need thick layers. On the other hand, when I painted the Key West peep, I did need more coats because the paint and texture was definitely runny, as you can tell. But using the heat gun definitely sped up the process and it allowed shorter time processing the paint to dry. Moving along, I painted the sides and back of the bunny just so from any angle you don't see any of the white coverage showing. bunnies were fully covered I made sure I didn't miss any spots and none of the white was showing through except from the bottom of the bunny because that's where I would be applying them to the wooden sign this wooden sign was an old sign that my mom had and I decided to repurpose it because she didn't need it anymore and used it for my peeps base using this chocolate bar paint from Apple Barrel I poured it into the paint palette and used it to add on the eyes, nose, or mouth of my piece. With the help of my dotting tool, I took some of the paint and evenly placed it amongst the face, making sure that it looked similar to one of the peeps that I had on my shelf. on one of your peeps doesn't turn out right you can always wipe it off with a wet paper towel before it dries and re-add on the face just like I did. Taking the sticker off the sign was not easy and it just didn't want to come off but when I took off one of the stickers on my peeps I noticed that using the heat gun helped remove the sticker for some weird reason. I know this because when I was taking off one of the stickers on my peeps I just kind of gave up and then I dried some more paint and then went back to the sticker and it came off really easy after the heat was applied. Next up on the peep train, I took out some Waverly white chalk paint and I used it to paint the top of this sign that says I love us. Obviously that needs to be covered because I'm going to be adding some words on it. It's going to say Gammy's Peeps because I call my grandma Gammy. It has always been Gammy since I was born and most of the times I just call her Gam. and the peeps were placed in the positions that I wanted them. I took a nice thin lead pencil 
and traced the front edge of the peeps where I want them to be placed for when I turn the peeps upside down and add my wood glue and hot glue on them I will know where to place them back on my wood sign. The wood glue acts as a strong binder and the hot glue uses combination for the moment just to hold it together until the wood glue dries completely. I'm using an app called Silhouette that connects to the Cricut to write the words Gammy's Peeps and I picked the font that I want. I used the font O photo shoot. I thought it matched perfect with the peak design I went for. Then I measured the wood and the size I wanted the words so then I could size my words to the size I want them and print them so it'll be a perfect match. Once the words were cut out, I used a weeding tool and weeded out all of the letters so that I could have a clean stencil because I wanted to match the color paint with the pink peep and therefore I didn't have any pink vinyl that matched the color of my peep. This part is unnecessary, I just didn't want to individually place all the opening pieces so I just used some transfer paper to lift up the vinyl stencil and then I took my palette and the princess pink paint again just like I used for the peep and poured some on my palette and then painted on the stencil creating words underneath it. Once the words on the stencil were completely covered with pink paint, I decided to remove the stencil. I did this a little bit early, so I recommend leaving it on until the paint dries. So right after, I hit it with the heat gun so that it will dry before I remove any other remaining pieces that didn't come off at the time. I finished this craft late at night so I felt no need or I didn't have much time to add Mod Podge but if you add Mod Podge it helps get cleaner lines. Since I didn't add Mod Podge I just went through with some paint and cleaned up the lines that needed to be cleaned. And then here I am with the Cricut again. I'm about to print some names to put on the peeps stomach so that they can show symbolization of me and my two cousins Levi and Max. This time you do need some transfer paper just so that the letters will be evenly placed and distributed, that they won't be in different levels or different spots on the peep. This helps to ensure a better and clean looking word. When you transfer the words onto the peeps, make sure you use something to make sure that the letters are pushed down and adhere to the wood or whatever you're attaching it to. I took the spray Mod Podge and sprayed my peeps with it so it will make sure that the words stay stuck to it and the paint wouldn't chip off. Next video I'll show you how to make this peep garland as well with another peep sign. Thanks for watching this video. That's all for this week and turn on those post notifications. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and make sure to give it a like. Bye everyone! Curly Crafter painted out.